Hello, Stevies. Welcome to the studio, I guess we'd call this. I don't know. It's a room downstairs that I use for all this kind of stuff, editing and stuff. So anyway, all right. So today we are unboxing the transition shield for the RF-1400. I can't wait. All right, unbox this. I have waited, hmm, see I got my helmet last year and the first time I wore it was last March um, on our way to New Mexico, or in New Mexico anyway. And I did not have the transition shield then, but all right. So from Revzilla, you get the transition shield photochromatic as they call it right there how cool is that man I've been, it's been a while so miss stevie has one of these on her rf 1200 and now i will have one on my rf 1400 and these are nice because you don't need to change shields you don't need sunglasses they it's just like like transition glasses they clear at night and dark in the day so yeah, let's open this up. I do have a new pin log for it. In full disclosure, I got the shield and then about a week later, they finally came in stock with the pin lock. So I waited for a new pin lock so I didn't have to take the one off of my tin advisor. So here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to get the pin lock ready so that I can install the pin lock as it comes out so there's no cleaning. That's my thought process anyway. That's the one I'm sticking with. And the way that you do this is you put this up against your your side. And the pin lock it says pin lock on it. So make sure that that's right side up. You straighten out your shield. You stick the one side in to the pin, like that, stick the other side into the other way like that, just like that, we're all good, remove the protective film, Let it adhere to your shield a little bit. Now remove the protective film. And look at that. I'm so excited. Okay, let's see. Get the helmet over here. Get my helmet donut. Cycle Gear sells these helmet donuts now. Helmet donut. Open up the shield. Pull down on the little tab. And basically, you know, I was good at this with my RF SR, but I am not good at it with this, this helmet. So I'm glad that this is the last time I got to do this. And with any luck, I can do it without breaking it. The struggles are real. Why is it catching there? I've never had it catch there before. Let's see the other side first then. Take my center off. Okay. Open all the way. Right off. Why did that side go easy and this side go in so difficult? Why? Why, why, why? I don't want to break anything. Okay, so there is the dark smoked shield, which I messed up the pin lock on the inside of this one. So, on to the transition shield now. The expensive shield, the ungodly expensive shield. Okay, here we go. Line up the three notches. All three of them have to be lined up. Look at that, bam, right in there. So easy to do when the sh when it's clear, you know what I mean? Line up 
the three notches and bam we're done we are done look at that okay let's take it outside put it in the sun let's watch it transition so i've got it covered up so it doesn't change on us before we want it to i'm going to take it off and we're going to see how long it takes to change if it does change right away anyway That's pretty dark, isn't it? Oh yeah, this side's darker than that side, obviously, because this side is in the sun and this side's not. That's that's trippy. <laughs> you can see right here that it's dark and black, and you can see here. You can see right through it still. That's cool. This is going to be awesome. Okay, guys, so that is the transition shield for the Shoei RF 1400. I am totally satisfied with the shield and this helmet. This shield takes away all the guesswork because so many times we've gone somewhere and I've said, oh, I won't need to bring my clear shield, and then I wish I would have, and I'm driving home with the, with the visor open. Or I'm just trying to risk it, and I've got the visor down, hoping I can see stuff. This takes all that away. Uh, this is it. They're pricey. They're two hundred nine dollars on an already five hundred twenty five dollar helmet. But I really I really like this helmet totally satisfied with it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought this shield for it. But I really like this helmet. Usually I buy a helmet about every year because I'm a helmet snob. But I didn't because I'm, I'm satisfied with this one. So instead I bought front suspension for my bike. <laughs> so so we're going to install that tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to ride it tomorrow. So I'll get a ride with this visor. I'm going to ride it over to my buddy Rocky's house and we're going to do the front suspension. I'm going to ride it home. I'm going to be able to see, you know, what the differences are the same day. So that's going to be, that's going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to that. But everybody, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time, everybody stay cool and we will see you on the road.